What's up guys? It's it. Oh, hold up. Let me hide. I was doing a makeup video. Let me hide my swatch hand real quick. <laughs> My apologies. What's up guys? It's your girl Hey Paris here and I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys wanted an update on the entire wedding situation, what me and Cameron are doing, what we plan on doing, what I got ready, what I got done, my dress and all that. I'm giving you all the tea. I'm gonna, listen, I'm gonna tell you everything. So sit tight, let's get into this wedding stuff, okay? So if you didn't know, my fiance, Cameron, proposed to me on June 15th, 2017, 18. What year is it, babe? It's 2018. 2018, okay. Um, if you didn't see the proposal video or anything like that, it's on my channel. You just have to search, um, I'm getting married or he proposed to something like it's some it's on channel y'all you'll, you'll, you'll find it anyways I'm gonna do a little Q&A at the end of this video as well so I'm gonna go on Twitter I mean not Twitter I'm gonna go on Instagram and ask you guys if you have any questions about the weddings and I'm gonna weddings what am I talking about wedding and I'm gonna answer all the questions that you guys have for me so let me just post that now because I don't know how long this video gonna be all right so I feel like two weeks after camera proposed to me I started wedding planning um I'm one of those people who it's like I don't, I personally don't want to get engaged for a long, I don't want to be engaged for a long time. I don't want to be engaged for more than a year. I am a let's get it, let's do it, let's get it done type of person. If you've been watching my videos for a very, very long time, you know that I've always said that I want to be a wife before I ever have kids. There's nothing wrong with having kids outside of a marriage. There's nothing wrong with having a kid outside of a relationship. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just my own personal um, goal in life was always to be someone's wife before having a child. So with that being said, time is ticking ho. I'm not trying to be engaged for two years, three years, four years because I want to be a mommy. I want to be someone's mother. I want to have a little baby who looks like me and Cameron put together. I want that. That's the life that I want. So it's not a rush. It's not like I'm rushing to get married, like we need to get married because I want kids like right now. But it's like, why wait? What's the point of waiting? It's not like we're waiting for a specific um, reason. We're ready to get married. We're both ready to get married. He proposed to me. So obviously you want to get married to my ass. Like I don't see the point of waiting. So basically I just feel like once he proposed to me, let's get the ball rolling. Let's plan the wedding let's get everything you scared the absolute Sorry. shit out of me come say hi to the camera it's going in was what 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 language was that Scarberia. <laughs> yeah so basically it's just like there's no point of waiting let's just get married let's start planning the wedding so like two weeks after the proposal i started planning i downloaded two apps i downloaded an app called the knot I'm just letting you guys know because there might be other fiancés out there who want to know the process. I downloaded The Knot and I downloaded Wedding Wire in the App Store for iOS. Not sponsored, but I mean, if y'all watch it, you can, you can, hey. So I downloaded Wedding Wire and I downloaded The Knot. Um, and that helped me a lot. It like organized everything for me, let me know exactly what I need, what I'm looking for, all of that. And it was just a really, really good tool for me. It also made me very, very exciting for the whole process. It made everything so easy. So if you're a fiance and you're planning a wedding with your wedding planner or by yourself, go ahead and download that, okay? Not sponsored, once again. So anyways, when I downloaded the app, honestly, I truly, truly, truly believed that I was going to hire a wedding planner. Nope, because the one wedding planner that I wanted in Toronto, bitch, I didn't realize how much wedding planners charged. I did, I, I was not aware. I've never done my research before, so I had no clue what was in store for me. There's this one girl, I'm not gonna say her name, okay? Because she's hella expensive and hella unnecessary in my opinion, okay? So there's this one girl on Instagram who I've been following her before Cameron even proposed to me because all of the weddings and events that she does are so spectacular, so amazing, so well put together, so professional. I just love seeing those things, okay? Whether it be a party, a bar mitzvah, a wedding, a engagement party, whatever the case may be, like her shit was popping, okay? So I've been following her. So when Cameron proposed to me, I'm like, I'm gonna hire this girl. Like she needs to do my wedding. She needs to do my wedding. So. I contact her now, okay? She charges $15,000 to do a wedding, wedding planning. 
$15,000 could be someone's entire wedding budget. So that's not happening. And honestly, after she said the price for her, I was like, I didn't want to look for no one else. I can do this by myself. I don't need to be spending no extra money on somebody planning something that I can plan for myself. What is the point? Okay. I mean, some wedding planners out there may be worth it. Me personally, I do not want to spend $15,000 on someone planning my wedding. I can do it by myself. Some people may need wedding planners. I feel like I don't need a wedding planner. I can do it on my own. I, I saw that price and my heart almost fell to my booty. Like for real, for real. I've never in my life would imagine that's how much people charge to plan weddings, okay? But again, I'm new to this. I don't know nothing about this. Wedding planners out there, I know there's cheap ones, there's expensive ones, there's all in-betweens, but that turned me off. I was like, no, I'm gonna do it myself. So anyway, the Knot app had a list of things that I needed and the first thing I know I needed was obviously a venue. So I searched for venues, I went to multiple venues, I found some that I liked, some that were really run down and horrible, um, but at the end of the day, recently, um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know this, um, recently my dad actually told me that he's gonna be paying for my venue and that took a lot of stress off of me, a lot of anxiety off of me. I was very, very happy about that. So um, it's for the venue now, we're, we're starting all over from square one because I mean, hey dad, if you paying for the venue, let me go look for something spectacular. It ain't coming out of our pockets. So she, hey, I'm gonna go find something spectacular. So the place that I originally wanted to have my wedding is out the door because this ain't my budget no more. It's my daddy's budget. So, he, let me look for something real, real cute. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, venue out the way. The next thing I knew I needed was a DJ. So, um, I chose a DJ from one of my favorite radio stations here in Toronto. Um, he said that he DJ for my wedding, so that's put together. He's gonna DJ an MC for the wedding. I'm not gonna say his name because I'm just not gonna say his name, but there you go. The next thing you need, obviously, is food. And one thing I didn't know about weddings and wedding venues is that they usually charge you for the venue based on what you have on your menu and how many people are at your wedding. I didn't know that. I thought you just paid a flat fee for the place to rent it out for the night. No, bitch, you have to pay, say, for instance, $230 per person per um, entree or what? Like, I didn't know all that. How come, how come we didn't learn that in school? Why we didn't learn that in school? So what happened and why I'm so happy and so blessed and so happy that my mom is such a friendly, nice person who everyone loves is there is a um, celebrity chef, chef, did I just say chef? <laughs> there is a celebrity chef um, in, he's from Jamaica, but he lives in America who my mom contacted because she follows him on Instagram and like she likes his food and what he makes and all that and she contacted him got a hold of him and asked him if he could cater for my wedding and he said yeah he said yes and he was very generous with the with the pricing as well so like I'm just happy that's another just stress off of my mind and my mama said she's gonna pay for all the food too so psh, Bam, over there, you know what I'm saying? Venue, music, food. That's like the three things you need to make a wedding. Now that all the extra stuff, the seating, um, the decorations, the ministry, all of that, I got that down pat. I know where I'm getting my flowers from. I know the theme of my wedding. Um, I don't wanna give it away yet. I don't want to tell you guys um, what the color scheme is or anything like that yet because when I put the pictures on Instagram, I want you guys to be like, wow, you know what I mean? But I got all of my bridesmaids together and I'm actually gonna put out a video for you guys of me giving all of my bridesmaids these little packages that I made for them. It's like a bag with a bunch of stuff in it that's personalized for them. Um, I thought it was a really, really cute idea. I'm gonna make an entire video about that called Will You Be My Bridesmaid or something along those lines and you will see their reactions to me asking them to be my bridesmaid. Um, it's gonna be a really good video. I'm really excited for that. I just have to give one more bag to one of my bridesmaids and then we are ready to go. And then I'm gonna start a little group chat with all of them in it and I'm gonna give them options to which dresses they want and whichever dress wins is what's going on. One thing about me, a lot of brides, I'm not gonna say 
a lot of brides because bitch, I ain't been to a lot of weddings, but some brides may be like, I don't want my bridesmaids to look too cute or cuter than me. No, nope, all my bitches looking fly. All of my girls are gonna look fly AF. I have a total of five bridesmaids. Two of them are friends from kindergarten. One of them, I'll actually, no, I'm not gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys the story of why they're my bridesmaids and who are they to me in the Will You Be My Bridesmaid video because I feel like everyone has a significant um, place in my life and there's a reason why they're my bridesmaids and I wanna tell you my story with them rather than just throwing it in this video here. So look out for that video. I will go into details about every single one of my bridesmaids in that video. I'm really excited to introduce them to you guys. Um, yeah, we'll get to that. We will get to that. So right now, basically everything is in order except for the venue. I had a venue before, and it was a venue I was going to get, but once my father said he paying for the venue, bitch, the venue I chose ain't nothing compared to what I'm about to choose. You feel me? You feel me? Also, for my wedding ring, um, I don't know if people do this, but this is something that I want for my wedding ring. So this is my engagement ring. Obviously, it's also gonna be my wedding ring when I get married. But I want to, I don't know, let, let me know in the comment section below if this is something. Maybe I just made it up in the top of my head. Maybe a lot of people do this, I don't know. Let me know. So I want two um, bands, I want two wedding bands. So I want one to go here, then my engagement ring, and then another one on top. Do people do that? That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. And also, Cameron's wedding ring that I'm getting Cameron, beautiful, okay? It's beautiful. It's, I, I cannot deal. It's, I cannot deal, okay? So I'm really excited about that too. Like, I wanna, I wanna be matching with my boo or whatever. The only sad part about my wedding is that my grandma will not be able to make it, which makes me really, really sad because my grandma is like the best thing in the world to me. She lives in America, but due to unforeseen circumstances, she is not able to come to Canada to celebrate my wedding with me. So I'm trying to think of doing, I'm, I'm thinking of doing something in America to like um, incorporate her in some way, shape or form because I'm the first of all of her grandchildren to ever get married so it's a big deal for her and she's upset about it as well so I just want to I'm trying to figure out what I can do to incorporate her in the wedding you know what I mean whether it be a live stream or like I don't know I haven't figured that part out yet at all and moving on to my dress here is the news that you have all been waiting for so I did apply for say yes to the dress Atlanta um, I did get an email back from them. I did do a phone interview with them, and now I have one more um, Skype interview to do with them. So, fingers crossed, we get on the show. If we get on the show, that would be lit. That would be lit if we got on the show, but we don't know yet. And the lady also told me that um, even if you get on the show, it's not guaranteed that you'll be on an episode, but they'll let you know um, ahead of time if you're on an episode or not. So let just fingers crossed that we get it. Is you crossing your fingers, bitch? I don't see, you're not crossing your fingers though. I don't, I'm, hello. So hopefully that goes down because that would be amazing. I all, I love Say Yes to the Dress. I love Four Weddings. I love all those wedding shows on TLC. I've been watching them nonstop since Cameron popped the question. So for me to be on one of those shows would be amazing. Especially Say Yes to the Dress because that's my favorite show ever. Um, I know the type of dress I want. But I'm not gonna explain to y'all what it is. I'm just all, uh, my bad. I can't do it because I just want y'all to see the pictures and be like, wow. I have a vision of what I want to look like. I have a vision of what my hair is gonna look like, my accessories, my shoes, my dress, and it is gorgeous, breathtaking. I can't even breathe, bitch. I'm not breathing. So this entire situation is just very exciting for me. I'm very happy, I'm very blessed, I'm very thankful, and I cannot wait to walk down the aisle and see my husband-to-be standing there waiting for me with my veil over my face and shit. Like, I can't wait. Me and Cameron are very, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? We respect, respect, so, um, as the days go on, our guest list changes, 
whether that means we're adding people or taking people away. But at the end of the day, my goal with my guest list is that I only want people at my wedding who fully 100% support me and Cameron. You are not invited to my wedding if I just I just know you. No, you have to be someone important in my life. You have to be family, someone important, someone I like, someone I like spending time with, someone I could speak to, someone who understands me and Cameron's dynamic and understands our love and supports our love. I don't want people there just to be sitting around and looking around and looking at what we have and how the wedding is and taking pictures and just to be just to say that they were there. I you're not invited. So sorry about it, you're not invited. The only people I want in my wedding are people who truly support us and I don't have to question if they support us. I know right now as I'm speaking that they support us. So even if today I feel like someone supports us, tomorrow I might feel like they don't. And it's, I mean, it's our wedding, it's my wedding, I'm taking people off, I'm adding people on as much as I want to until I get the invitations ready and then it's stuck, you feel me? But I just feel like um, a lot of people like to invite people who they don't really um, mess with like that to their weddings just so that their wedding guest list has a lot of people on it. I'm not that type of person, I don't want that. I want only love and positive vibes at my wedding because guess what it's gonna be my one and only wedding there is not gonna be another wedding there's not gonna be another shot it's once and that's it so if you're iffy to me you're not invited if you're sometimes ish you're not invited if you throw the slightest bit of shade towards me or Cameron you are not invited if you love me and I know it you're invited if you support me you support Cameron you support us you're invited if I don't have to question your friendship and our relationship you are invited. And I'm, when I say this, I'm not talking about just my friends. I'm talking about family too. If I feel like you're not there for the right reasons, you're not coming. I don't care if you're related to me or not. It's my day. Bitch, it's my day. What you talking about? I think one of the things that I've been um, having a little trouble with when it comes to the wedding is what song I want to walk down the aisle to. But I know that when I... I'm going to do a... I didn't say this. I'm going to do a mother-daughter dance at my wedding because my mom is my world love my mommy so much so i need to just i need to dance with her i just need to let her know how much i love her and how much her support has brought me to the woman i am today there's just so much i want to thank her for like the least i can do is to make a section just for you mommy so um we're gonna do a mother-daughter dance and the song we're gonna play for that is gonna be mama by boys to men's is it boys to men's babe and ever since I was small, I've always just wanted a mother-daughter dance. I, like, ever since I ever thought about a wedding, I always wanted to dance with my mom. Because my mom is, like, the most important woman, person in my entire world. So, she she's also helping me a lot with the wedding, too. So, she um, looks at venues with me, and she shows me stuff, and shows me dresses, and you should do this, you should do that. She's been helping me out a lot throughout this entire process. So, very thankful for my mommy. I also have a vision of what I want Cameron to wear, but like at the end of the day, that's his own decision. But like, I'll throw I'll throw little things out there. Like, you you want to wear that? You you think that looks nice? You want you want to try that on? Like, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he makes the decisions, whatever. And that's that's basically it. I don't know what else to let you guys know about, but there are gonna be a lot of wedding videos coming soon where I'm. Um, showing you guys just like process of the wedding and what I'm doing so those will be popping up randomly throughout this entire process okay now let's get on to the Q&A Paige Grace hey Paige Paige you said you saw me at Cameron's graduation I'm so mad that you did not say hello to me like what? very upset but anyways Paige said will you do any DIY projects for your wedding if yes would you record it um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any DIYs um, for the wedding, but if you guys have suggestions of DIY things that you think will um, be really good for the wedding, I would love to hear it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below, or put the link in the comment section down below. I wanna, I wanna know. I never even thought about doing DIYs for the wedding at all. So, shit, if I can save some money and do it myself, I'm gonna do it myself. And if I do it myself, I will record it. Let me know if you wanna see any DIY projects. Leave them in the comment section down below. I'll definitely try it out. Hiba underscore XA said, what style dress do you think you might wear? I'm not telling. I can't tell you yet. You're just gonna have to wait and see. Summer 2019, okay? If you didn't know, I'm getting married summer 2019. I don't think I said that in the video. 
But yeah, summer 2019. Princess No Disney said, who is the maid of honor? A lot of you guys know who the maid of honor is, but um, look out for my Will You Be a Bridesmaid video and you'll see the maid of honor in there as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that video. It's gonna be very, very soon. I just need to drop that bag off to one of my bridesmaids and we're done. XX Shannon Brown said, is it a destination wedding? No, it's not. It is gonna be located in Toronto, Canada, where I'm from. Anna Beltran dot underscore said, would you be posting pictures of your wedding dress after you get married? Yes, I will. I'll be posting, I, I feel like I'm gonna bombard you guys with uh, wedding pictures on my Instagram because I already know, I already know myself. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so excited to share it with you guys. KK Dancer 213 said, have you thought of a cake or wedding dress design? So again, with the wedding dress, not telling you, but for the cake, I have in my mind what I want for the cake. And I feel like I don't wanna tell you guys either because I wanna surprise you guys. It's a, an amazing cake. It's so different. It's so elaborate. It's so like um, abstract. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys. After the wedding, I'm gonna do a video updating you guys on the wedding and then I'll show you all the pictures of everything I wanna show you guys, videos, like little videos, not anything too um, detailed because um, this wedding is really, like I, I think weddings are private. It shouldn't be shared with the world. Uh, some people may feel like they should share it with the world or whatever, but I just feel like for myself, I don't want everything out there. But little videos, little clips, little pic pictures and stuff like that, I will put in a video after the wedding, so. Yeah. Nat underscore McLean said, who's doing your hair and makeup? I have someone who's going to do my hair. For my makeup, I have no clues doing my makeup yet. That's another thing I have to look into, but probably a really good makeup artist in Toronto. Um, if you have any suggestions, make sure you DM me. Let me know. If you know any bridal makeup artists that are bomb, hit your girl up. I would... Help me out. What you mean? Jay Detani said, is Black Kid going to be there? Bitch! Bitch! How you know? You, am, I, am I too Jamaican for y'all? Am I? It's my Jamaican showing. It's it's my it's my Jamaican showing or something. Hell yeah, it's gonna be black cake. What you mean? You want a piece, bitch? Micah underscore Ritsu said, "How stressful is it, and how much do you need it to plan?" Um. So basically, I'm basically done planning. I know exactly what flowers I want. I know the, the the dress thing we have to go to say yes to the dress for and all that. And if not say yes to the dress, I know exactly which dress I'm going to get online. Um, how stressful is it? It's not stressful. It's actually really, really fun to me anyways. I think it's really fun wedding planning. I think I'm having a blast doing it. You know what I mean? Not stressful at all. Underscore lovely underscore lyrics said, how many bridesmaids are you having? Five. We're having five bridesmaids. The Honest Goddess said, how big is the guest list? The guest list is not huge. It's not big. Like I said, we're adding and removing people as um, we go because some people are showing their true colors and some people don't deserve to be in our lives or our weddings. You feel me? Chee. Anyway, Roful underscore Danger Aaron said, what type of hair? You doing a wig, a frontal sew-in. Um, Cameron likes my hair up and out of my face, so I feel like I'm gonna do like some kind of a bun, some kind of bun, something like this maybe, but maybe a little bit something going on here. I have no clue yet, but it's gonna be up. It's not gonna be down. I don't want my hair down. I want it out of my face because that's Cameron's favorite hairstyle on me when my hair is not in my face. And I'm trying to make Cameron see me walking down the aisle and him being like, damn, bitch, I, I hit the jackpot. I wanted to look at this homeboy like, man, I, I hit the jackpot, didn't I? So, you know. <laughs> Kaylea underscore B said, what are you most excited for? I'm most excited to kiss my husband-to-be and call myself Mrs. Mars after the wedding. That's the thing I'm most excited for. I'm most excited to see Mrs. Mars on all my mail. You feel me? That's that's what I'm looking for. Like, nothing else. Literally nothing else. Oh, and the, and the open bar. <laughs> and open more. You know your girl's gonna get lit at the wedding. You are, I don't care if I'm the bride. I'm getting lit. I'm getting lit. A lot of you guys are asking me what color, what colors the wedding is gonna be. I'm not telling y'all. I can't tell y'all yet. Sorry. Y'all just gonna have to wait and find out. But that's like majority of the questions right now. A tongue underscore forever said, do you plan on a get ready with me for your wedding? Doing a get ready with me for your wedding? No, I'm not that type of YouTuber. I know a lot of YouTubers like to film everything they do. You you guys already know me. I ain't doing that. This is my wedding day. 
It's my wedding day. What I'm what I'm filming for? No, I gotta be focused on myself. A p h r i c a n a c i n g a l. I cannot pronounce that. Said, who will you be walking down the aisle with? I want my mom to walk me down the aisle, and also my daddy gonna walk me down the aisle as well because he my daddy. What you mean? U m a l k h e i r. Said, are any of your subscribers invited? Love you, girl. Love you too. But no. No, none of, none of my subscribers are invited. But I am going to have a table with, um, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, subscribers are invited. I have two subscribers who are invited, but I don't consider them subscribers anymore. They're more like my friends. So um, I have a table, though, that is going to be with only people that I know through YouTube, like my YouTube friends, other YouTubers who I really, really mess with who... Um, I know supports me and Cameron and stuff like that and then a few subscribers who I don't consider subscribers anymore because I I know them personally and we grew a relationship together so yeah some some subscribers are invited some of them thoughts on strippers at a bachelor slash bachelorette party hoping there will be some at yours or is that a no no I don't like strippers I don't like male strippers they are cringy AF they are so cringy male strippers do nothing for me. Cameron's bachelor party is gonna be filled with big booty hoes, okay? A lot of big booty hoes up in the penthouse. They booty gonna be shaking for hours after they done dancing. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be with his boys. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna make sure all the bitches is cute. Like, he gonna have the time of his life. Me, I, me and my girls are gonna be going to either Vegas or like somewhere tropical, but there's not gonna be any strippers there. Um, if there are strippers, there will be lady strippers. They're gonna be girl strippers. I'm not here for men strippers. Men strippers are so cringy. I don't like it. Like just the thought of it is ugh. If you ever been to a male strip club, like you feel me, it's not cute. It's not a good look. I don't like it at all. But Cameron, he can have strippers. He can have the time of his life. I'm going to do my thing with my girls. We all going to have fun, come back together and get married. So what's that? E S T O Y underscore D E D said, Are you going to have a honeymoon? And if so, where is it gonna be? We are gonna have a honeymoon. I don't know where it's gonna be yet. Maybe Turks and Caicos, maybe um Barbados, maybe um I don't know. I don't know. Cameron doesn't like flying, so nowhere too far. But <clears throat> excuse me. Some are tropical and nice, you know what I mean? And we're not paying for that either, so that's a blessing as well. Someone else is paying that for us, so you know what I'm saying? A lot of the questions are repeat questions of what other people already said. So, that's about it. Your girl getting married summer 2019, you feel me? Soon to be Mrs. Mars right here. <laughs> You know. Anyways, guys, if you have any suggestions of things I can add to my wedding, anything that you think is cute, you can always DM me on Instagram. You can also leave a comment down below. Leave a link down below to whatever it is you want me to see. Again, with the DIYs, if you want to see me try anything new or anything like that, leave it in the comment section down below. I will check it out. We'll talk about it. Whatever. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All that jazz in the description box down below for your convenience. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Oh, okay. Wait, hold up. Let me, let me spill the tea real quick. So, since this new chapter is happening, me and Cameron decided we are going to start vlogging over on our couple's channel, Paris and Cam. I will leave a link in the description box down below, although I think the URL is youtube.com slash Paris and Cam, but I'll leave it in the description box down below. We are going to be vlogging very frequently, starting very, 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 very soon. I'm talking about within the next week. So go over to Paris and Cam channel, subscribe to us, and check out our vlogs that are coming really soon. And along with that, I am starting a Let's Play channel, okay? Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you get the URL when it's open. It's going to be on my Instagram story, and it's going to be on and popping starting Monday. Monday, okay? Monday is when I'm going to release the URL, and probably the following days when I'm going to release my first video. So make sure you follow me on Instagram to keep up with that. So we got a vlog channel that's about to be popping again and a new Let's Play channel. The Sims 4 Let's Play channel is gonna be shop popping. Y'all already know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, guys. Mwah!